Hey everybody, welcome to Frost Tanking Heroics, this is X, and today's instance is going to be the Violet Hold. Now I used to hate this place because it would take a while after you killed a boss for the next instance, to, uh, sorry, for the next portal to spawn. And uh, after the most recent patch, they, uh, they don't do that anymore. Now there's a much shorter wait after you kill a boss before the next portal spawns. And so, in my opinion, the Violet Hold is no longer a... It, well, it's not only bearable, but it's fun now as well. And it's one of the fastest heroics you can possibly get. So, yeah, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get right on in. When you first enter the instance, you're going to want to make sure everybody's inside. And once everybody is inside, you're going to talk to this NPC over on the right. And you're just going to go through the couple of dialogue options. And this is going to start up the instance. You're going to get a random portal. First, all these mobs are going to be cleared out by these purple rays. And then a, a random portal is going to open up somewhere in the room. In this case, it happens to be the portal on the left. What I want to show you guys is uh, a new rotation that I've been using to grab quick threat on a single target. What I like to do is I like to open up with obliterate and then I'll go blood boil blood boil and then another obliterate as you'll see me do here. A single target pops out of this portal right there. Obliterate, blood strike, blood strike, and obliterate. And the whole time I'm also using rune strikes. And now um, if you'll notice omen over on the right I've got a lot of early threat and even the mage who's going to be pulling around 5k DPS in this instance isn't able to pull aggro off of me uh, early on because I've used this rotation. Now if you're not sure if a portal is going to spawn um, a single target or multiple targets in here feel free to go ahead and just drop a death and decay early on before anything spawns. That's what I like to do. I'll drop a death and decay. I'm not sure if this one's going to have a single target or multiple targets. In this case it happens to be a single target. So again I open up with obliterate and then I follow up with blood boil and rune strikes and uh, another obliterate. And I happen to get a free howling blast on that one so I use it. And so you can see you're basically just running around the instance for the first, uh, well actually the whole instance you're running around playing catch up with these portals. You're going to want to keep an eye out for them. Again, I drop death and decay. And this one happens to be another single target. And I use obliterate, blood strike, obliterate, blood strike. And then because my runic bar is uh, fairly full and uh, rune strike wasn't ready, I used a frost strike. So that mob goes down as well. This portal is fairly tricky. This one's always a multiple target portal, so I drop my Death and Decay ahead of time. And again, since it's multiple targets, I use Howling Blast to open up, followed by Blood Boil, and then I tap through and use Rune Strikes. And even though the Mage is very high DPS, and uh, actually, yeah, the Mage is very high DPS, um, I am able to keep aggro on all of the mobs. Every sixth portal in this instance is going to be a boss. And here we're on portal number six, and it happens to be Zevaz. Um, I can't show you all the bosses in this instance in just one run, because you always get two random bosses, and the third boss is always the same. So I'll be making shorter videos to show you the other bosses later. Now, with Zevaz, what you want to do is you want to treat him like a single target, because that's what he is. Uh, so I open up with Obliterate, and then Blood Strike, Blood Strike, and then another Obliterate to make sure that I get early aggro on him. He summons up these spheres in the background, so what you want to do is you want to tank him and pull him backwards. So here I'm stacking diseases on him now, because uh, I've already got my early threat, and diseases help me keep threat the rest of the fight. And you pull him back and around. Uh, over the stairs. This protects your party by keeping them away from the spheres. After Zevaz goes down, well actually after the first boss goes down, it's not always going to be Zevaz, I like to come up on top of this little balcony and wait for the next portal to spawn. It takes a couple seconds, they give you a short break in between bosses. Um, I come and wait up here, notice how everyone else is down there. But if you wait down there, you really only have a good vantage point on the lower portals. Up here, you have a good vantage point on the higher portals and the lower portals. So, I like to wait up there after a boss. Here we have another portal that spawns multiple targets. So again, it's Death and Decay, Howling Blast, Blood Boil, and then several Rune Strikes.
on the twelfth portal, since it is a multiple of six, it's another one of the sixth portals, um, another boss will spawn. In this case, we get, I believe his name is Erikim? I'm not sure what his name is, but he is the he's the bird guy. And I treat this boss pull like any normal uh, multi-target pull. I'm going to drop my Death and Decay, and then I'll start with Howling Blast, and then Blood Boil, and then after that, I'll spread diseases and hold aggro that way. Yeah, Eric is his name. Okay, so there's Death and Decay, Howling Blast, Blood Boil, and then I start spreading diseases with Icy Touch, Plague Strike, and Pestilence. Try and interrupt his chain heal using your mind freeze when you can. The DPS should focus solely on Ericum and not worry about the adds. Once Ericum is down, you can just take down his adds and you'll have plenty of threat on them, so there's no worry there. Again, after a boss, I like to go wait in the middle on top of that balcony so that you can get a good vantage point on any of the portals that spawn on top or below. And luckily for us, we get the portal spawning right behind us. Here you're going to see me use Death Chill. And that way I get a quick hard hitting obliterate on the single target that pops out of this portal. There we go. That's a good way to generate a lot of threat early on. So again, my single target rotation these days is obliterate, blood strike, blood strike, obliterate. Eventually, on the 18th portal, the final boss will spawn. Cyanagosa is a blue dragon, but her tail and uh, her tail is no threat, so DPS can get behind her. And for her, I use my normal boss rotation, which is uh, an icy touch and a death grip, because death grip does not trigger the global cooldown. So it's icy touch then death grip at the same time. And then I use plague strike and just tank her single target from there, throwing in rune strikes and frost strikes to keep single target threat, and the DPS is able to just take her down. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to rate and comment, and if you want to see my next video as soon as it comes out, be sure to subscribe. And thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later.